Hello and welcome back uh, to our new video and our small new series essentially on uh, thinking and problem solving methods. You can call it logical reasoning, you can call it analytical reasoning, uh, you can call it puzzles and teasers, uh, it falls into the category of recreational mathematics also. So whatever you want to call it, essentially we want to think about solving problems and these are not our standard maths kind of problems where the moment we look at the problem uh, we have some clues in terms of what tools to deploy. Here in almost every case there is going to be a new story, a new condition, but the basic process involved is that of deduction and systematic thinking and to a large extent patient uh, bookkeeping, keeping accounts of the information given. So instead of talking about the idea theoretically, what we want to do is try out a lot of problems and learn from them and essentially after some amount of exposure your process will improve automatically. And most importantly, we need to get uh, rid of the formula thinking or a preconceived method kind of thinking. Our thinking must be dictated by the question itself. So the puzzle is on the screen. Uh, please hit pause and try it out and spend as much time as needed to try and work it out slowly, right? This was also uh, shared on the community tab. Uh, so maybe you can go there and participate and mark your answer there. The answer will be shared uh, quick. The answer will be shared with you soon enough, but the important thing is to uh, try and work out the problem even though initially it may or may not make sense to us. And how to think systematically and deeply and cleanly, right? So try out the problem and then join the discussion. So I hope you try that out. What I learn is that if I, there are these five words, and if any one letter of the secret word is given, you should be able to tell me the number of vowels in my secret word. Not necessarily my secret word, but you should be able to deduce the number of vowels correctly. So that is my game. And these two are the important rules. Any one letter, that means not just one letter and try it out and stop the process. You will have to check this condition, check this rule for every possible letter from whatever secret word you choose and try. So you will notice in most of these kind of puzzles and questions, it's a, it's a challenge of case building and testing out the cases one by one. So that is what I'm doing here. Uh, straight away I will say, okay, say aim is my secret word and from that secret word, I share the letter A. And then what happens? Are my conditions working or do they get violated or broken? So if I say A is a shared letter, I don't tell you that aim is the secret word but I just share A out of aim. So I know aim, but you do not know whether this A is coming from aim or this A is coming from oat. But, but either way, if you look at aim or oat, you will notice that both of them have only, that both of them have, have exactly two vowels. So if I tell you A out of secretly the secret word being aim, you can say the number of vowels in my secret word is going to be two. And that would be correct, say if the secret word was aim, right? So this condition is working for me, this case is working for me. But just A is not enough. I think a lot of people tried out A and they thought this was working and therefore this is the answer. Remember that any one letter part was very, very important. That means I have to check this logic for all possible letters from any chosen secret word because this rule should work all the time. So I will go to the next letter. I will say the case one only that my secret word is still aim, but I is the shared letter. Now if I focus at I and if I tell you I, you can guess either aim or tie. And in both of them, you have two vowels each. So once again, you will be uh, correctly, you will be able to correctly reduce the number of vowels in my secret word. So, so far so good, no problem. But perhaps we will learn better from cases where they get rejected and that will happen now. If I say aim is a secret word, which you do not know, I know, and I share only the M with you, your guesses will be aim or mod, but here there is a problem. In aim there are two vowels, in mod there is only a single vowel O. So you will not be able to say, I mean basically what is your answer going to be? Is it going to be two vowels or one vowel? And therefore you do not have a fixed answer. And therefore this aim cannot be my secret word. Because what was the rule given to me about my secret word? That any letter if I share from the secret word, you should be able to correctly guess the number of vowels, which is not happening in this case. And therefore, the overall case is not going to work for me anymore. So aim now cannot be my secret letter at all. 
So what you should do right now is, in case you were not able to solve the problem by yourself, and if this part of the logic is making sense to you, hit pause right now and try and repeat the process yourself for the rest of the words. So it is going to be a systematic thinking challenge. It is going to be a, a patience and perseverance and, and, and cleanly organizing the data and not getting lost after a few steps. Uh, obviously, it is also about some stamina and sustained thinking. You cannot quickly come to the answer. You have to work the, through the story case by case. So maybe hit pause right now and try and develop the process by yourself because when I do it, it will work and I have organized it very, very well here. But in the exam scenario, you might not have that much clean space or time and you might have to do it in the margins. So do run through the process, especially if you can do it orally in the head. All of these steps can be done mentally, by the way. Uh, this is uh, putting it up on the screen is just for better communication. So hi, so I hope you try that out. Uh, uh, so I hope you try that out. Let's quickly run through the process for the second word. Say my secret word is due, which you do not know. And I give you the letter D. Now, if I give you the letter D, your guesses will be either due or mod. And once again, now in this, at least in this case, straight away there is a problem. In due, there are two vowels. And in mod, there is only a single vowel O. So this is not going to work for me. The original condition that if I give you any one letter from my secret word, you will be able to give me two uh, the exact number of vowels in my word is not going to work if I share D with you from due. So the moment I see this, I can straight away reject this case altogether. Due cannot be my secret word. And I want to run the same process for mod now. I say mod is the secret word. And for starters, I share the letter M with you. Now, if I share M with you, you will guess either mod or aim. And once again, there's a problem. Mod has only one vowel. Mod has only got a single vowel and aim has two vowels. So therefore, once again, the original condition is not going to work for you. Also notice that initially in the first, when we were trying out the first case, I was going very, very slow. But the moment I tried out one run of the process, one cycle of the process, the process is now better ingrained in my mind and my selection and rejection can happen faster. So your goal overall will also be uh, to develop this process that I quickly try and work out the logic. Uh, when I say quick, that I try and work out the logic in my first couple of iterations. And after that, I will notice that the logic is in my head. I can hold it in my focus and the rest of the testing cases can go faster. So that challenge also is the initial challenge. If you wade through it, if you make your way through it, the rest of the process is going to be repetitive. And therefore, I said the bookkeeping part of the process. The ideas are not very difficult anymore. You have already worked out the logic. Now you are just quickly checking one by one whether it works or not. So mod is not going to work for me. Uh, testing out the fourth case, oh, I'm leaving up to you. You must do some work on your own. I'm straight away going to the last word, tie. Say if tie is the secret word and I share the letter T with you. You will guess oat or tie. In both the cases, you have two vowels. So the original condition is so far not broken. Can I confirm the case right now? Ideally, I should not because it says any one letter. I should check for the rest of the letters also. So let me check for I. If I give you the letter I from my secret word tie, which you do not know, you will guess the word to be aim or tie. In both of them, you have exactly two vowels and therefore you will be able to give me the correct number of vowels in my secret word. Therefore, even this case is working for me. Uh, there is an errata here. It should say case 5B. This is the second uh, part of the fifth case. And lastly, if I share E with you. So many erratas. This I should say, should say E. If I share E with you, you will guess tie or due. In both the cases, you have two vowels. So if you give me the answer back as that my secret letter has two vowels, you will still be correct, right? So I checked for tie, all the three letters work. Why do I have to check all the three letters? Because the condition said any one letter and, uh, and I should be able to reduce the number of vowels, which is happening in this case. So I hope by now the process, at least for this story is very, very easy. And uh, maybe hit pause and think about what is it that we are doing? What is the shortcut or the formula that we are using? The logic that we are using is given in the question statement. So interpretation, understanding it is obviously going to be a major part of it. 
after that uh, maybe working out a frame of logic or basically a scheme of things for you how do you want to approach it and then you will see that just a repetition of the same process over and over again and these are still deductions uh, the rule based deduction as we discussed earlier number of vowels should be the same so that was my rule the moment i see that the number of vowels is not the same i know a rule is broken i want to stay consistent with the rule so as mentioned earlier this lr ar puzzles and teasers is all going to be rule based deduction case thinking building connections is uh, building connections etc which we have uh, spoken about in detail in various other videos right so we want to understand the core process and essentially this process can improve a lot if you try out these kind of questions right the more you try out these questions and struggling is okay don't be in a hurry to get to the answers taking a day also with a puzzle is fine even if we do just one such problem where the formula is not predetermined where we just is not about simply uh, applying a known well known established formula but working through a language problem where the rule is unique to that situation is the essence of the process and essentially it is about moving away from this attitude that i already need to know what the problem is going to be because the problem could be of uh, could be about anything on any game any rule any scenario of the universe somebody can make a scenario very quickly so we need to have fresh eyes and uh, an ability to think on our feet more on this topic a lot more on this topic coming soon